All right, welcome to another episode of the Couch Coaches Podcast, where we talk about everything going on in sports. And Brother James, welcome back. He was so upset about the Lakers getting knocked out of the playoffs, he left the country. Wouldn't come back on the show for three weeks, but we got him back. He's good to go. He got ready to go. <laughs> no. Um. So every week we've done this, like the, since the playoffs have started, we've been in a completely different place the day of recording than we were the week before. Those game sevens did not have like, I'm thank goodness. I don't, I don't gamble because I would have lost money on both of those games badly. Um, So we have our, we have the conference finals that we did not think we were going to have um, today. looks like a pretty tight game. Uh, Pacers and Celtics are 94, 95 right now. So we're just kind of going to go through these two series and, and see what you guys think, what you think the outcome is going to be. And then who's going to be in the finals. Uh, Brother James, since you haven't been with us for a couple of weeks, I'm going to start with you. Um, what do you think is going to happen in this Pacers Celtics series? Okay, well, going back, I would have won some money on the uh, on, on the last one, you That's know. True. But uh, you, know, true. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, just yeah, give my props. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Pacers and, and Celtics. Uh, well, I have a lot of reasons why I want the Celtics to lose. Uh, I don't feel that they're they're a great team. They're number one in the East. Uh, they're not really tried and tested as much, but, of course, Indiana isn't either. Uh, but my opinion is I think Indiana has a little more ability and a little more skill set in, in it down low, you know, in the center position that's going to help them beat the Celtics. Uh, I do believe it's it's going to go with at least six games. Uh, you got you got the Pacers. I got the Pacers on that one. Uh, okay. uh, it's going to be a great series though. Uh, but I, I'm going to go with the Pacers on the West. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I'm going to have to continue to roll roll with Minnesota. They look. They uh, look. I mean, they look really good. It's. It's kind of. I mean, would you? What, if you take uh, out Denver, it's kind of hard not to go for the team that took out Denver. Uh, and the reason being is because Dallas is a two man team. Yeah. Uh, well, and, Ky and, and so, Kyrie is. He's hasn't been very. He hasn't been very Kyrie this last series. Well, no, but he. You, you can. You can. You can never count him out because I mean, just like in that last that that game seven. Uh, he just he he showed up when he needed to show up. Uh, he's the best finishing point guard in the league, you know. Uh, so you can't count him out. But I, him and Luke, him and Luca can't beat that whole team, you know. So uh, I, I don't. I, I think that 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 series is probably gonna go five. So so Minnesota, Indiana, the two teams that. The NBA would shoot themselves like Adam Silver is going to shoot himself over for ratings. It's going to be the two teams in the. It's going to be the yeah, lowest, so lowest rated finals like ever. Yeah. All right, all right, uh, brother Bill. Starting with uh, starting with the Eastern series, who do you see? Who do you see moving forward, and why? East, I see Celtics in seven coming out because of Drew Holiday. He's the difference defensively for the Celtics. Uh, Devin White has he stepped up his game. If you look at the the last finals he was in against the Warriors, he was just developing uh, a jump shot. He's better now. Um, I'm assuming Porzingis is going to come back, but I don't. While Porzingis will help, I think the key to the Celtics being Indiana in seven is going to be Jalen Brown because as much press as um, Tatum Tatum gets. Jalen Brown, he's he's good for almost 30 points a game. But I think it's going to come down to Drew Holiday, what he gives him defensively, offensively. And he can't count out uh, Al Horford, who's been money for them um, in big moments as a center. Um, I just think that, uh, like I said, I think it's going to go all seven, though. Um, Indiana, I just, I just don't trust them. The fact that the beat-up Knicks took them all the way to, to seven games and the Celtics team without Porzingis, I mean, I threw out them having the best record regular season. That's regular season. That's that's a whole another season. We're in playoffs now, um, so that's that's what I see coming out of the East and the West. Uh, as much as I would like to think, you know, that that Dallas is a surprise, and I 
do believe that there are they are more than just a two man team. Um, they got some big contributions from their role players when they needed to. Uh, but I think the difference is going to be that Minnesota defense. Um, they they're holding teams to on average under 100 points a game, and I think that that shows up again in the conference finals. So I've got the Celtics and Minnesota in the finals. And the Shocker is going to be for the first time the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're going to get it done. I just think that if they can get past Dallas, um, and I, and I think that's going to go six games. By the way, um, I see them if they if they stay true to what they do defensively and offensively too. Um, I can see them um, even with Boston on the home court um, getting it done uh, in six games. If it goes seven, I, it's going to go to Boston. If it goes all seven games in the finals. All right, Deacon Hill, starting in the East, who do you see coming out of the Pacers-Celtics series? You know what? That's going to be a great series because both of those teams play similar on offense. They both like to try to get out and run the ball and go. I think that um, the, the the Pacers have a little bit the, – their youth plays to their advantage because they really can go. Boston, you know, they kind of slow it down a little bit more. But both of those teams will, will shoot you back in the game. They'll, they can like, just like Boston, they start out tonight with a 12 0 lead. Next thing you know, you know, they get, they're right back in the game. So both of those teams play almost a similar style of ball and they, they'll, they'll let you back in the game. But I do think Boston is going to have the edge. Uh, like Bill said, I think it's going to go seven and I'll give that edge to, to Boston just because they're, they're, they're the more expo- uh, experienced team. And I think that experience is just gonna gonna show up when it needs to. Um, Indiana, they get they get real lackadaisical sometimes. They'll they'll disappear for long stretches of a time at times, you know, or take ill advised shots. You know, I'm watching some of the shots they're taking tonight. Like why, you know, just you know, set it up, set, you know, and swing the ball. But you know, they're big guys. All of them want to take the shot there, and which is good at times because they'll all go. They'll take it and you know, and go with it. So, but I think that the, the inexperience is going to show up in, in uh, game seven. I think Boston will get it in seven. And then in the, in the, in the West, uh, I'm going to go with Minnesota. You know, uh, again, uh, brother James was right on it too. The, um, Dallas, uh, do they're, they're more than a two man game, but they're two, their two stars is Kyrie. Kyrie, a lot of people don't want to give him credit because he's not, you know, scoring a lot of points and big, but he's hitting money shots. He's a, he's a money shot shooter. And he's and he's showing up, and he's actually uh, controlling controlling the tempo of the game a lot. But uh, I just don't think they have enough. I think uh, uh, Minnesota is too big. They got um, what cat, big cat. He's playing. He's finally playing like a big man, and, and he, you know he's stretching the floor and taking you down low. And then you got you got uh, Anthony Anthony. Uh, uh, Ant, he's doing what he does. Uh, you you got the point guard uh, Mike Michael Conley. Those guys are playing some good ball, and it's going to be a a, a a tough matchup. For um for Dallas to try to you know to and I and I'll say I'll take them in six I'll take Dallas in six. Wait, and, Dallas, Dallas or Minnesota? I mean Minnesota. Excuse me, okay. Minnesota. Minnesota in six. Excuse me. And and for the championship, the the Big Apple. Oh man, I'm 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 gonna stay in the West. I'm you know we West you know we in the West, so I'm going with Minnesota. Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at. Like to me, when I like, and we had talked about this earlier, like the Celtics to me are, are, they're similar to the, like Baltimore. There's a, there's a mental aspect. Like there's, they're a killer team. Well, coached, great players, all that stuff. But there's, there's, there's like a mental aspect to it where if you can, if you can get them off their center, it kind of throws the whole thing off. And I, and I, if Indiana played defense, I could see them throwing off the Celtics, but they don't. So with them not doing it, I don't see the Celtics. I mean, it could be a shootout. I mean, Indiana could could definitely take them with a shootout, but having it to where they're not going to really throw them off their game offensively, which is that's the way to beat the Celtics, is to make them uncomfortable and get them off their game and get them off their spots and stuff. And I just don't see Indiana doing that, even though it was impressive those last two games of that last series. Granted, <laughs> New York was playing like nobody, but they still, but but it was still a series up until those last two games, and then they just absolutely annihilated them. I mean, annihilated them at home, which was, I mean, it's what they should have done based on their healthy New York's not, but it's, that's such a, they, they, they turned it on when they had to. And I don't, I don't see them doing that because it's not a, they don't play defense. And I think Celtics yeah. is going to, like, like you said, Pacers could be way up because they're comfortable on offense. They're moving the ball fast and everything, but the Celtics, 
they'll be able to stay in the game because of Indiana's lack of defense. Um, and I, if and I, I think I, if, if, if Boston get their big man, what's his name? Com- Com- Porzingis. Porzingis. Porzingis they, is supposed to be back game four. Game four? Yeah. If they get him back, that I that's going to be a good uh, – the finals is going to be really finals. good. <laughs> if they get him back for the finals, woo. Right, yeah. If, that, if I mean, he doesn't come back until game four, and let's say it's it's 2-2 two, two, – if the, if the series is tied to a piece, well, if he comes back for game four, so it would be either 2-1 or 3 or whatever it is. Um, for the Celtics, if Indiana is leading that series 2-1, to one, even with Porzingis coming back, because then you're talking about that means the Celtics have to win three of the next four games. And how many That's minutes is he really ball, playing his first game back? What's that? How many minutes is he really going to play his first game? Exactly. Back? Yeah. So I think the I think the key is going to be this first three games. I think the Pacers, they if they can get one or two in Boston and take care of home court, then I think then it, it tips in their favor, even when he comes back for game four. Yeah, well, the I'm home court. The, I'm I'm looking at the finals. I'm talking about if they get past if they get past Indiana. And make it oh, to the finals, yeah. and he and he's back. That'll be oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Th- you're right. Then it becomes the matchup, and and who really has the advantage? This is where coaching shows up too, right? Because you're talking about you've got you know a veteran coach in um, Carlisle, Carlisle against a what second year coach with Boston. They're not going to the. They're not. They're not making to the finals. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm All right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all, y'all. No, we I'm understand. You, I, I mean, hey, hey, that that's okay. It's a prediction. That's all it is. You know, Wait, no so, money's on it. So, so okay. hey, he, hey, he did call it. He he called the the the, the um Minnesota the, game. The, yeah, the, for sure. The Minnesota game. He Come on, it. man! A broken clock is right twice a day. Come on, man! He, you know what? Right. Yeah, but that. your bro, your broke clock it ain't been right. He he got it right. He also called the Lakers to go to the conference finals, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I did not Don't say the finals. Wait. So, okay. So, 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 brother James, do you see it? Do you do you see it just like it's a straight? But I did. Call, I, I did. Call, I did call Golden State wasn't gonna make it to the playoff. I remember that. Wow, you really went out on a limb, didn't you, for that one, James? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I called that one too, you know. But I'm saying that, you know. Now, what, now, what was you saying, Joe? Before I was, so, so before do you, you see it as like, like it's just a shootout? It's going to be like a, like a plus one ten, plus one fifteen, like every game kind of a thing. Like what the, the finals? Like, no, no, no. For for the Pacers, uh, Celtics series. So I I think it's going to be a, a shootout. But the deal of it is, is if you look at last series, right? Boston goes cold a lot. And you think that's where Indiana is going to take advantage of? It. I think, I think, I think that's what's going to happen to them. They're going to go cold because the deal of this with Boston, if they're not hitting threes, they're not hitting anything. Because they, you know, just like I was saying before, like with Golden State, you know, everybody's nice Steph Curry, and 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 you know he changed the game, and people trying to everybody on the other other teams are trying to be like him, shoot threes, shoot threes. And you can't do that. Nobody plays, you know, the best game played is inside out ball. You start it down low, down low opens up everything else, you know, but nobody plays that type of ball. But Minnesota has a little bit of that play, you know, and kind of backs you in, you know. And so that's what makes them so dangerous. Uh, Indiana was doing that when they, when they were coming back on New York, they would, they would, they would go inside and then come pop it back out. They were moving the ball, and that's one thing I loved about Golden State because Golden State would move, they would pass the ball eight times before he even took a shot, you know, and 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 so that I think that's what is going to end up happening to to Boston. They're gonna go cold, and they're gonna they're gonna lose the game, and then uh, Indiana's gonna get that confidence, and they're gonna run with it. Well, and the, the home court advantage is interesting in this because Indiana is very good at home, and Boston is like. They're mediocre. They're five hundred at home. Yeah. So they can, and, and, and they can you, easily take take them. In. I mean, they could take. They're up four right now. Yeah, but if you look at if you look at uh their last series, most of the games Indiana won was where. Yeah. At home. Well, yeah. I mean, Indiana. No, yeah, that it was, was away. Was, it was away. No, Indiana. They, they they only won the one road game, and that was Game Seven against the Knicks. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah I, I don't think Indiana's lost at home in the playoffs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking Minnesota. I'm my bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, and the yeah. thing about Minnesota, that Minnesota Denver series, the fact that you know Minnesota only won that one home game, even though they won, you know, the you know, the, the three on the road at Denver. That to me thought, well, is there some? Is Minnesota still too young? Are they not ready for it yet? But they showed something coming back the way they did in the third quarter of that game center against Denver because I didn't even watch the game. I mean, I was doing other things, you know, Saturday, and when I saw they were up, Denver was up twenty. I'm like, okay, you know, even if they traded baskets or they gave up a few or Minnesota had a run, I just couldn't see Denver losing that game. Yeah, being you know, the, the, the big thing in that game is when they switched Ant on to to um I heard Murray. He shut right. him down. He shut he, when they right. made that switch, he shut Murray down and it was all over then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I and I and Minnesota, just the way they the way they manhandled Denver in the games. That they that they won was just, it's hard to see that and go, oh, Kyrie and Luca are gonna figure this out. Like, granted, they've been playing they've been playing better defense. Kyrie, this is probably like the most likable for me Kyrie's been in his entire career. He's just out balling, doing you know he has great shots. He's not, he's not like a, he's, he hasn't been a headline like at all. He's fit. He's playing within the game. He doesn't have to be the dude. Like I, I think I think Dallas is playing really well. I just can't see the team that shut down Denver in a way that nobody really shut down Denver all season or like the last two seasons, them not being the team that's able to take, um, to take Dallas and then take the Celtics or Pacers or whoever makes it. Um, they just seem like they just like, they're just a very well constructed team and they play very well together and they're playing super hot right now, which is. Then they bring who's that guy they bring the six man of the year? They bring him off the bench with uh, he's got not, not um, Nazim Nas Nas Reed Reed Reed, yeah, Reed. yeah, yeah. They he's <laughs> he was a difference in that series against Denver. He was a difference. I mean, they just crush him on the boards at third quarter. I could not believe it, but yeah, so we'll yeah, see. I mean, the, the way they're playing is just they're playing like champions right now. And where Boston is like, yeah, they're a champion, and then the next game they're like. They suck, and then like, oh, they're pretty good, and then like, oh, they suck the next game. Two wishes. Well, like the Niners. Bro, yeah. we only hey, we're really good, and then we get to the Super Bowl. So, yeah. speaking of football, I don't know if you guys nerded out like I did, but I went through uh, the schedule and marked it off. Um, yeah. I'll, I don't know how, like, I don't honestly, I don't know how deep you guys went into it, but I literally brought up the schedule and went and really like analyzed, okay, where I think the Niners are gonna hit and miss. So I, I actually have the Niners losing six games this year. Um, Brother Bill, I don't know if you went through the schedule like a dork like I did, um, but if you did, what, how many losses did you have the Niners having? I had the Niners in five losses. I had them losing losing one of the games, one of the six games within the division, to and who? the other and the other four losses that I see them is against the Chiefs against um the bills because it's on the road um the dolphins that's the third one and the fourth one was i'm sorry i had two losses in the division uh split against seattle um and the rams and then the other three losses of the teams i mentioned um buffalo kansas city and miami so i had them five real losses and then one loss at the end of the season to the cardinals just because we're resting players because we already no, know where we are in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, we would have gone undefeated in our division last year. Deacon yeah. Hill. Yeah. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brother James, um, did, were you able to to go through your Raiders schedule and see how many what? losses you think you're going to have? 17? Seven, no. seven, 17. He's, he's, he's thinking about the lottery picks. He's talking about schedule. It's all about the lottery. Yeah, I, I, I looked at it, and I, 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 we're going to have a great season. Uh for the simple fact that, you know, you ain't going to pass on us because the quarterback is going to be getting hit from both sides. Uh, and that's just the truth. Uh, and our safeties are, are tightening up. And uh, that third down back, he he know how to read a cut, you know. So uh, I'm looking at six losses as well. Really? Like, honestly, mm -hmm. or are you just being optimistic? Uh, no, I'm, I, no, I'm being honest. All right. Yeah. I'm being honest. I I do believe that they can they can pull that off. Six or seven. 
Oh, man, but I wish I, I'm going to go, stick with six. I wish I had brought up the Raiders schedule and done that for them, too. I'd be like, I got 13. Uh, what do you think you think doing, uh, Brother James, what do you think y'all are going to do with the inner division, those six games? Uh, Well, I think we're going to split with Kansas, with Kansas City, because we played them twice. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I think I think we end up coming second in the division. So you're thinking you're going to go what three and three in the division, four and two? What, no, uh, better than the Chargers. Yeah, better than the Chargers. Uh, we would probably go four and two. Okay, four and two in the division, and the other, and then the, the other, the other eleven. You're only going to drop three of those other eleven. That's right. <laughs> All right, That's you can help. You're just a hater. <laughs> Bill, we, why you hate so much? I'm right. just asking what? questions, man. I mean, you're just a hater. you just a hater. I mean, it just, it just, it just pour out your skin. You know, you just <laughs> sleep out your skin like That's okay. Like sweat. You know, I, 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 I love my brother James's optimism. I love it. And uh, Me I, too. I, 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 didn't, I didn't nerd out as much as you did, Joe, but I did I did do my research. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I and I and I looked at the experts and I, I li- got their opinions on it, and then I looked at that schedule. The way our schedule, the way it, the way it is, it's brutal. We have a we have a pretty brutal schedule. Oh my goodness, it, it's not nothing nice. So we start out in yeah. San Diego, and they they the experts got us winning that game. And I'll take that. I think we could because uh, Harbaugh and the big turnover they got going on in San Diego, they have us winning. Then we got Baltimore, they got us losing that one. Yeah. Then week three. That's our home opener against the pa- uh, Panthers. We, we'll, we'll beat the Panthers. Yep. Then we got Cleveland. That's going to be a toss up. But the experts got us winning that game. But I think it's a toss up. Then we Who got are these experts. Are these experts, James? <laughs> then I do. Right. Anyway, I, as I look at this schedule and I see the the road games that we have, it's it's pretty brutal. And I got a uh, the experts got us going eight and and nine. That's pretty and, good. And, yeah, yeah, eight and nine. They got us having a, a losing record, and uh, I got us. Uh, I can, I can almost flip that. I can give us, I can give us nine wins and eight losses. Yeah, I could see that. Like you guys have, you guys are like us. You guys have the Dolphins at a great time of the year. Like it's not going to be hot. That's the that's the worst when you have to play Miami in in Miami in like September because nobody nobody's ready for that. And we got them coming off of a bye. That's out there our bye week. But we're not. Sometimes we don't do good after a bye. For some stupid reason. Yeah, but you, you got a new coach and everything. I'm sure you guys will be. I mean, you guys are like you. a different y'all, team y'all, right now with y'all. Your coaching staff. Look, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I, I used to be like you, brother James. I was like, hey, we yeah. going to the Super Bowl. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about we, ain't, we're not Super Bowl ready. But I, what I'm saying is, we play off ready. Uh, and well, we got a lot of unproven stuff. See, I like, I love to be optimistic like that. But we don't even, we're not, we're unproven at the quarterback position. We're really, we're yes. really, not, we're not tested at our running backs. We, you know, the, the White is our new uh, bell cow, but we don't know, we don't know how he can carry the load. Then they're talking about our our our, our safeties and defensive backs. We're young back there. We don't. There's a lot. But they do. They. It's a lot of just watch. Just we, we'll see. Look, we, I, I'm we'll just see. The, the way they scheduled us. Just, I, I know. They, we, I mean, we got a hard schedule. We got, but yeah. you know, United always we get that little cushion schedule every yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we, the first know, place, we, we, we play, first we play real football. First you, play schedule, all the professionals play professional. Don't even get started by schedules. It's all play schedule every year. It's you all know, professional. It, it's Everybody a, gets a paycheck. You know, but the, that's right. And I, I'm not complaining about it. We're gonna do our thing. And watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope we do. But it's, it's, it's gonna be brutal. It ain't gonna be like I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> no, it's gonna be some hard. Those wins I'm talking about are gonna be hard wins. I'm yeah. telling you. I mean, it, it, it's going to be hard. If, even but with the unknowns, you guys know your defense is going to play well. So it's, right. it's really, and it's and it's hard to tell, like, it's hard to go, oh, the offense is going to be good because you just, with the new coaching staff and new quarterbacks and new, I mean, all that stuff, everything is so new. It's, defense I mean, win championships. Who's your quarterback? You, it, it, it don't matter about that. If you, can't, if you can't score, we don't Minshew, need a quarterback. All we need O'Connell. is a kicker. <laughs> oh, 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 James, we got to talk, bro. We don't need a quarterback. You, three nothing. you guys are going to be like the Broncos I, with Tebow? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying. You, you see what I'm saying, though? But I'm just saying, if you can't score against us, you know, all we got to do is be able to kick a field goal. We're going we're gonna to figure it out. We got, we got quarterbacks. We got we got three quarterbacks vying for the, the number one spot. We'll somebody, see. somebody can pass it to. We got two, two uh, Pro Bowl tight ends. 
That's right. We got we got uh, receivers. We got we got offense is gonna be. You know, like I say we just need to figure it out. Don't, don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Play. I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, brother James. I brother James. I, I, got, stuff. I got bad news for you, brother James. Jamarcus <laughs> Russell's not coming back. Todd Marinovich is not coming back. Jay is not coming back. Even Jimmy G's. And not neither back. is Kaepernick. <laughs> Kaepernick ain't come back either. He hey, we got a quarterback. He we got, hey, we're, hey, we're, we're settled the quarterback. You guys could sign him we're right good. now. He'd have no problem with that. He's not doing it. It's all great. We, 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 Bill, you can go be our quarterback. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. No that. That'll never happen. happen. We won't even you, block you, for you, him. you can play for a real team. As we want, we'll, we'll let Bill be the quarterback and we won't block for him. I saw that movie necessary <laughs> reference. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> nah, I got to be behind offensive line that's going to block for me. That's okay. Appreciate you, guys, you though. If you guys get Brady this year, I'm gonna I'm gonna puke. If we do what? If you guys get Brady, because Brady wants to play and he wants to buy into your team, he's gonna get blocked because they're he's giving him too much of a discount. I could a hundred percent because you guys don't have a real quarterback. I could a hundred percent see Brady going. All right, let's go. We're not getting. Yeah, that's that's fairy tale. That's not I hope that's so. fairy tale. I hope but so. the deal of is he good enough to go to the Super Bowl. If he comes in, I would I would hate I would hate it because you guys would. He'd get the ball to Devontae every hey, time. We got to upset the making, bro. 39 seconds of Pacers up by three. Celtics are going to get the ball. Let's see if the Pacers can 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 hold on and, and not give up a, a cheap three or foul and and and, and escape with the win and steal game one. All right, I'll tell you what. Well, since we're done anyways, we could jump off and we can watch those last uh, few seconds. <laughs> 